Raymac is cooking, oven baked turkey legs. Raymac style. YouTube family, let's go. We're about to make a killer recipe and you guys gonna love this here. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna make us up a brine. All right, and I want you to take some Lowry's garlic salt. This is the only ingredients we're gonna use for this here wet brine. And I want you to take four tablespoons of the Lowry. Yes, that's right, four tablespoons. Now, once you've got your Lowry seasoning inside the container, I want you to go ahead and take some water and fill this baby up. Let the water reach over your meat. Then after that, go ahead and take you a lid, a spill-proof lid. All right, and set this at the, in your fridge. Put it in the bottom if possible. Now, once you have let this set for at least now about eight hours, 16 hours, up to 21 hours, or even overnight, I want you to go ahead and take it out, take the water out of your container. Now, the next thing I want you to do, I want you to go ahead and pat dry your turkey legs, okay? So take them out of the container and pat these babies dry. Now, with this recipe, it's going to be something simple. It's going to be easy. It's not going to take a rocket scientist to do this here recipe. And when we do this, it's going to be packed with a lot of flavor. Okay, so what I want to do now is prepare these for the oven. So I'm using my cast iron skillet for this one. If you don't have any cast iron to cook with, you could definitely use a baking sheet pan and you can line it up with parchment paper. That'll work as well. So let's go ahead and preheat our oven. Set your oven at 425 degrees. It seems high, but trust me, the temperature will work for these here turkey legs. So the next thing we want to do, we want to go ahead and put some olive oil on each one of these turkey legs and rub it in. Now, now once you are rubbing these in, try your best to pull that skin back because when we get ready to season these turkey legs, we want all of that seasoning to be all over the turkey. All right, so let's go ahead and prepare these babies right now. Don't go nowhere. Let's go ahead and season up these here turkey legs so I have some salt. And here's the thing I would love for you guys to do. Use your own judgment when it comes to seasoning your meat. I'm going to try my best to give you some measurements for this, but I want you to use your own judgments, okay? So I also have some black pepper. Now that salt, I want you to use at least around about a half a tablespoon. And then for the black pepper, I want you to use a half a tablespoon as well, all right? And then the next ingredients is going to be some onion powder. I want you to use at least around about a half a tablespoon for this it, um, also. And for our next ingredients, I want you to also add in some garlic powder. Now with the garlic powder, use half a tablespoon, all right? And the next ingredients, I want you to also add into this some Cajun seasoning. Now with the Cajun seasoning, I want you to use at least around about a half a teaspoon for this one, or you could use one teaspoon, okay? And the next ingredients, I want you to also use some paprika, okay? Now with the paprika, you can use up to about a, a half a tablespoon. It won't hurt anything. Trust and believe me. And for the next ingredients, what I want you to add is some of this here parsley flakes. Parsley flakes, you better sprinkle to your heart's desire. All right. Listen to your ancestors. Your ancestors know best. All right. When your ancestors say stop, that's when you stop. Now, for the next ingredients, I love this here, y'all. This is some garlic rosemary seasoning from Tones. And I'm telling you right now, if you use this, this is some good stuff. You won't go wrong. So I want you to use some of this here, Tone. And if so, I want you to at least use one tablespoon of Tones if you can. And with all of these seasonings combined, I want you to go ahead and rub this 
into your meat. Rub all the seasonings into your meat. Rub your meat to death. Get all up in those crevices. All right, so let's go. Rub your meat. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm using some unsalted butter and I'm just taking little dollops and just tossing some here and tossing some there. Um, if I had to give you a good measurement of how much to use, I would say at least around about four tablespoons of um, butter, if so. Or you could just use a, um, a half a stick of butter. That's all I'm doing, y'all. Just taking pieces of butter and just spreading them here and spreading them there. Basically, I'm just listening to my ancestors, okay? So with that being said, I want you to go ahead and take your turkey legs, put them in the oven uncovered. All right. Then for the timer, I want you to set your timer at least to around about 35 minutes. After 35 minutes, I want you to go ahead, man, and pull that pan out and start basting um, your turkey legs with the juices and that butter that's at the bottom. Baste them. Every so often, I want you to go ahead and pull your turkey legs and baste them. Now, once you baste them after 35 minutes, take some aluminum foil or take a lid and cover it and allow it to cook for at least around about a good 20 more minutes. But this is how you're going to tell if your turkey legs are done. I want you to take a meat thermometer, insert the meat thermometer into each leg. If it reads 165 degrees, then I want you to go ahead and pull them out, okay? If you want your skin to crisp up a little bit, you can leave it in a little longer until your skin becomes crisp. And then after that, you better serve these babies up. I'm trying to tell you something right now. So do me a favor, don't go nowhere. Just stay there and watch this here video. When I tell y'all that these turkey legs was bussin', these babies was good and they were seasoned to the max. Please give this recipe a try and if you try this recipe, go ahead and post a picture on your social media website. I see y'all looking at my cabbage and sausage over there, but what I'ma do is I'ma leave a video right at the end for you guys to click on it if you want to try that recipe. Matter of fact, if you um, want to really try that cabbage and sausage recipe, look right there in my suggestion. Click on it right now. Comment and subscribe to this here channel, y'all. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to thumbs up this video as well. I always say this, love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Peace.